coming back to the problem identification the new example is the toolware monitoring systems the toolware monitoring dashboard display by the graphic user interference module now here what what is a toolware generally as a being mechanical engineer we already know that as the tool get drilled in by with the help of the drilling machine into the object it start wearing and it give also hold so the tool wear is a normalized process while we process the drilling operation for the tools okay now here how the tool wear can be monitorized and the problem can be identified with the help of the machine learning which is explained by in this slide with the help of the some figures now here we can see this the real time four signals this is the real time four signals along x axis and along y axis these are the machining parameters which is seted here here you can see this is the sine wave of the machining parameters the real time four signals in the given here these are the real time four signals x axis y axis and z axis so as we know that the tool is start wearing from x y z axis and these are the displaced or these are the wearing cycles of that tool for the particular instance so how this is we can say that the this in x axis 0.5 0.125 that is in displacement and 1.6 to 1.7 in seconds related to that tool is varying similarly for y axis minus 0.05 minus 0.05 to point plus 0.03 and it is in the seconds 1.6 to 1.72 and the for z axis 1 to 1.5 so all these are in x y z axis so the machining parameters actual toolwares and the historical toolwares these are the all let us upcoming uh, statistical figures in the machining parameters the material is material of the tool is steel the tool is square and mill type and the operation is milling and its starting time is date is 3 3818 at time 10:59 and 49 seconds it is started so the actual tool wear will be classified according to the scale the break in study so severe and failure so the tool will be broken when there is a severe failure and the historical of the tool wear can be plotted with the example with the help of the samples and versus class in which starting breaking is given in a greenish color and if it is steady wear of the tools is given in a yellow color as you can see this is the points and the severe is starting from in the orange color severe wearing and the failure is in indicated in red color so the top part display the real time forces on three axis and the bottom of the contain machining parameters and associated information a gauge with the actual tool wear level and history of the tool wear progression this is how the machine learning can be help us to identify at dot plottings now come to the next example bearing fault diagnosis in changing working conditions here you can see this the bearing will be fault in changing working conditions as the bearing start wears and tears the it's starting failing and it's making a noise so here in step 1 you can see this train with enough source data and the source data is condition 1 so here the frequency signals are given this is in green stage this is in working stage and this source data in condition 1 here it is in shown in the graphical gra uh, graphical fashion 
consists of the frame and its type state to get a sample so graphical representation of this source data condition one is given here and with respect to the varying condition are mentioned here so the varying conditions having the neural networks or combination of the varings and tearings are mentioned here in neural networks the label one is normal data label two is in inner race fault the level third is ball fault fourth is center outer race fault so four types of fault we have measured here and four types of wavelengths of the fault diagnosis are mentioned here in this green line all these are mentioned so as the transfer you can see from the um, lower down side of the uh, blue type of arrow we can see this the step one train with the enough source of data is transferred to step two it is trained with a few target data and here we can see this is all the four types of uh, signals are converted into red signal which means that is the failure is occurred in bearing similar goes for the neural networks which is mentioned in the green and now his transfer parameter and modify structure is went for the reds so the modified neural networks and similarly changing label that is the labels in condition 2 that is level 1 normal data level 2 inner race fault third ball fault fourth center outer race fault fifth orthogonal outer race fault and sixth is the opposite outer race fault so these are the fault diagnosis of the bearing in changing working conditions this is how ml can help us by adding new types of uh, fault types of errors i said so coming to the next problem identification the wear state estimation of the rolling element bearing using svm here we can see this is vibration signals in the bearing is given with the help of the load and the horizontal accelerometer is attached and it is a stft is also attached and this this is the general how wear estimation of rolling element bearing is shown here so this is a much more complex i will just let you know in how the standard procedures are there so whatever types of failure always produces different uh, types of wavelengths or patterns that pattern supposed to be recognized with the help of the this problem identification or the machine learning techniques and that problem can be solved with the help of the machine learning neural networks problems with, with using them you can identify the types of problems and types of solution for them also so this is a this is how machine learning can help us